A new generation of robots not only looks human, but is taking on human tasks. Constantino de Miguel reports from Europe's largest robotics exposition in Lyon, France. Coming up on Earth Focus. They can dance or check your heart rate. They can also vacuum your room and even make salad or wash the dishes. All that without complaining or asking for a raise. Robots are alive and kicking in Lyon, France, at the latest Europe's Innovation Robotics Summit. The new generation of mechanical creatures not only show their impressive capacity to serve humans, they also look like humans. It's a question of time. Robots will soon populate our homes, hospitals, schools and cities. Robots are going strong, especially in the industrial sector, where sales grew by almost 40% last year. This market will be increased tenfold, reaching $100 billion by 2020. Service robots like this Korean assistant will be most popular at home, in the office or in public spaces. A takeoff made possible by advances in artificial intelligence and improvements in the peculiar man-machine relationship. This robot's a human-shaped robot. It's really ideal for communication. Uh, people want to talk to something that looks like a person. It's, it's very difficult to talk to a laptop or something uh, that doesn't express emotion like a person. If you want to communicate, the first thing you do is make eye contact with another person. So we have the infrared depth sensor so that this robot can detect the presence of other people, make eye contact with them, and start some conversation. Uh, we're building in also gender recognition. He will recognize whether you're male, female, whether you're happy or sad. And with that information, you can then really communicate effectively with another person. Machines that look like people are the most difficult to make due to the complexity of the human body and the human brain. Robots are primarily designed to address a particular need, mostly one that's difficult or dangerous. We may still be very far from the robots of Star Wars, though this humanoid is very close to C-3PO, called Kronos. It's an incomplete prototype that could one day perform protocol and communications tasks. Designed to duplicate the functional anatomy of our organism, it can perform up to 45 different tasks. There are two sorts of robots. There's the um, rigid robot, which is used throughout the world to demonstrate how we can walk and how we can move arms, and a compliant robot, which means it's supple, and if you stop it moving, it will actually resist the movement, but not continue, so it's, it's less, less dangerous as a robot. robot. This is a fully compliant robot. Um, with these, this robot, which is half of a human being, we have copied all of the human form, replaced muscles with motors and actuators, uh, we have 54 degrees of movement, uh, which is exceptional for this, this sort of robot, but also poses certain questions, how do we control it? Robots are not only functional machines, they can also inspire noble thoughts and even trigger feelings and emotions. This art and science is called animatronics. Pleo is a pet dinosaur full of sensors and sophisticated software. It can learn from its environment, is able to interact with humans and can develop its own personality. He has all well, the cute stuff you can expect from a pet. He loves to be cuddled, he loves to be uh, well hugged, he loves uh, well when you take care of him you see that he really likes it. Faithful and multifunctional companions that can also entertain us, play with us and even teach us many things. Robots, in fact, have a great future as teachers. These robots from the Korean brand iRobi understand and react to around 1,000 voice commands, play educational games through their screen and are designed to teach English to South Korean children. They can also report the weather or provide recipes. With their built-in camera, they allow parents to monitor their children and home while away via cell phone. In a very near future, like Bill Gates said, the uh, robot will be a partner in our homes and also it will be the partner for the elderly people or for the lonely people and also for the ordinary people. 
After a successful career in industry, robots are entering schools, offices and homes. They're increasingly accepted as performers of educational and household tasks and can be highly useful in taking on risk for us or doing chores. But robots will not come into our lives as swiftly as computers or smartphones. They will colonize our world step by step. So an important thing to remember is that robots are no more science fiction, but they will be accepted by people in their everyday life if we succeed in mixing the technology with the emotion. Because uh, at the end of the day, robots are different from machines because they create an emotional bond with people. So soon, not only we'll uh, learn how to use robots, but maybe how to trust and even how to love robots. My name is Kibo from Korea. So nice to meet you everyone. I have various functions, for example, as you can see, I can stand up and also walk alone without any help. Robots today uh, that you see in the movies have nothing to do with what is possible technically. Uh, that's both good and bad, of course, depending on the robots you're thinking of. But the fact is that because of our standards and the way things are, pe worries people may have of robots, uh, as they get more experience with them in their lives, they will find them adapted to them and they will not be any different than uh, than phones are today. You know, so the concerns that people have over privacy and security are just exemplars that we're going to experience with personal robots. They will be in our lives and they will be our helpers and our friends, if you will, rather than our uh, nemesis. They can lend us a hand in many ways, but they are still climbing the learning curve. Some of today's robots are still clumsy, slow and funny, but they will become smarter. Robots are no longer science fiction characters. If industrial robots keep on making our cars or tools with impressive efficiency, this new generation of human-like machines will perform a valuable service. So we'd better learn to live side by side in peaceful coexistence and ensuring we are the masters of these mechanical servants. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.